day the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it because God is good and he is worthy to be praised. Worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. And I'm telling you, this is another amazing day today. Um, happy Tuesday, everybody. And uh, set your thermostat today um, and declare that you are amazing today that you're powerful uh here here's what i here's what i say and we'll talk about today with confessions whatever god said i'm gonna agree with it i'm gonna agree with it and i just believe that uh you know i'm gonna be one of those one or two witnesses out of the mouth of two or three witnesses let every word be established um so yeah, man, this is this is a good day today, and uh, we're rejoicing, and we're exceedingly glad in it because God is so good, and He is worthy to be praised. Amen. God is good, and He's worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So uh, yeah, we want to send blessings out to you guys today. And we declare that uh, all is well with you and your house today. And uh, uh, yeah, I want to, uh, some people say they can't hear me. Let's see if I can get that going. Uh, how about now? We pretty good? We pretty good. Those of you who uh, you said it's still low. Uh, that's on Instagram. Um, yeah, let's see if we can speak a little louder. Is that better? Volume is in now. Okay. Look at me being technical, going and fixing stuff. Praise Jesus. <laughs> All righty. Let's see where you're coming from. Let's see. We are sending out blessings to, uh, where y'all from? <laughs> Casper, Wyoming. Yeah. We're sending out blessings to those of you in Anaheim, California, North Carolina, Alabama. Houston, Texas is in the house this morning in Jesus' name. Plano, Texas is in the house with us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Northern Ireland is with us. Oakland, California. We send blessings your way. We add our agreement with yours. Those of you in London, San Bernardino, California, Chicago, Arizona, we add our blessings with yours. Guyana, we add our blessings with yours in Jesus' name. Virginia Beach, we say, like Melchizedek said over Abraham, we bless you with our words. France is in the house this morning. Bonjour. The International City College Park is here with us. Douglasville, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, uh, logging in from all over the country this morning. Australia, uh, international. Uh, we just we're thanking God for you guys. We're declaring a good day today. We're adding our agreement with God. That's a lot of what we do. We add our agreement with God. We add our agreement with what's already done. And I declare your life will be blessed today. Today, you are overcomers today. You are powerful. You are magnificent today. And uh, praise God, you, you're you going to have a day of, of victory, praise God. I mean, why not? What's wrong with agreeing with what God has already said? And um, I just think that there's a, a lot to that. And I believe, and this, I've always believed this, that you know, if, if you don't believe it, do it. I mean, how are you going to say something doesn't work and, and, and you, you, you have never lived it? You've never done it. Well, I confess one time, you know, we send blessings to those of you in Pakistan this morning. Uh, we declare that you are blessed in Jesus name. Well, I tell you what, I don't believe in all that confessing. I don't know why y'all say that Psalm 91. Well, I mean, why not? I mean, we've been doing it for what, almost three years? Seem like it's working to me. I'm going to stick with it. I, I want to agree with God. It's better than, 
to agree with God than to agree with the devil, to agree with the word of God than to agree with words of sickness and hell and death. I ain't doing that. I'm going to agree with God's word. I'm going to open my mouth and use it. And this is the reason why we don't see a lot of power operating in the earth because you let somebody talk you out of, of, your, of, your, of your faith, what you believe. And what we don't understand, the grace of God, God's already done it. You know what I mean? Uh, but we, we appropriate, we, we lay hold of, of the grace of God through faith, through faith. Amen. And, um, uh, yeah, man. So, uh, unless you're willing to go in the kitchen and, and cook the recipe, don't come talking about this ain't no recipe for chocolate cake. You ain't gonna know that until you go cook it. And then when you go in there and cook it and follow the instructions, then you'll know. Uh, so that's what I'm saying today. So I declare, and I'll continue to declare that you're blessed. I declare, and I continue to declare that no weapon formed against you will prosper that you're going to have a good day today, praise God, that you are overcoming the emotional attacks that may be, you know, confronting some of you right now, that you're, you're, you're winning. You're going to win, praise God. You're going to win in Jesus' name. And God bless you. Hey, Cynthia and Mike, God bless you guys, man. And I declare in Jesus' name that all is well. All is well with you, your house, all is well with your relationships. All is well on your job. You're going to have more than enough money to do what God wants you to do. You're going to have more than enough favor to do what God, God is on your side. Remember the scripture said, if God be for you, now here's the deal. God is for you. God is for you. It says, if God be for you, who can be against you? Well, God is for you. He is for you. He does love you. Amen. Praise God. You can't run him away. He ain't going to quit on you. He going to be with you throughout this day. So just shake off whatever doubt and unbelief you picked up from a bad conversation somewhere or some, some, some demonic thought that's trying to tell you, well, it don't work. God ain't on my side. He don't love me. I mean, you don't know what I did. I mean, come on, man. Come on. That's baby stuff. It's, it's poop in the pamper stuff. We don't live that way anymore. We believe God. And I'm telling you, you are blessed today in the mighty name of Jesus. And all is well with you and your house. We send blessings to those of you in Germany this morning, New York City, world changes nation around the world. We send blessings to you guys today. All is well, praise God. All is well in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go ahead and agree with Psalms 91. I'm, so, I'm, I'm Psalm 91 equipped. Let's agree with it. Let's agree with it. The Bible does say this, where two or three shall agree as touching anything, as, as touching anything, not touch and agree, but come into oneness. And that's that's the power of confession, the ability to come into oneness, the ability to come into agreement, the uh, uh, the ability to confess, kind of like in a court of law. I confess. Well, I confess I'm healed right now. I could conf I confess you're healed right now. Oh, I, I, I must confess I'm healed. Oh, I well, you know what? You know, I surrender. I got to confess. God's good to me today. Oh, I just, I just got to confess. I'm, I'm anointed. Praise God. That's what he said. I got to confess that the angels of God watch over me lest I dash my foot against the stone. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me confess. Praise God. Absolutely. You hear what I'm saying? We get all bogged down at trying to get somebody told that we're just not seeing what God's trying to do. And so, yeah, I'm, you know, the love of God and the peace of God has brought me to a place where, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and fess up, you know, God's good. God's great. And it's the power of agreement. It's the power of agreement where when you begin to agree with what God has already done, that's a power switch. So yesterday we talked about you know, the fact that death and life is in the power of the tongue. 
but you know your agreement your agreement with god your agreement with his word that's a power switch right there that's a power switch man when we come into agreement with god and then when we come into agreement with one another about what god has promised that's a power switch right there man i tell you in jesus name i just sense you're gonna have an anointed day today and so I come into agreement with you today. You come into agree with me, with me today. Let's let's release this power switch. I agree that something good is going to happen to you today. Praise God. And this is that's that's important. A lot of times stuff happens in our lives. We don't see the good in it. All we see is the bad in it. And then going down the road a little bit, you realize, boy, if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't even be able to get where I am right now. I have this little thing I live by. It's real simple. I expect nothing, but I appreciate everything. Expect nothing, but appreciate everything. That'll keep you out of disappointment because disappointment comes when you expect something and then it doesn't come to pass and, and now you're disappointed. But what will happen if you get got this in your spirit, start practicing this? So you know what, Lord, I don't expect anything. Now, I expect I expect everything from God. Now, I expect everything from his word. But I'm talking about in our relationships with people. To expect nothing but to appreciate everything. And so, you know, you wasn't expecting it when it came, man, you're, you're you're you are so grateful and so appreciative of everything. And please remember what I said. I, re I expect everything from God. I expect every promise that God made to me and to you to come to pass. I expect that. Praise God. But with people, I don't need to get disappointed because, you know, sometimes, you know, we expect stuff we didn't even have a right to expect of people. But uh, I, I'm learning how to be uh, grateful and appreciative for everything that happens. And praise God. So I I really sense this in my spirit that, uh, this is Breakthrough Tuesday that uh, and I know breakthrough is one of those. Everybody uses the word breakthrough. Every time you look around, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. But I just it, it may be a breakthrough that just takes place in your heart. Like, man, I really I really believe God. And that's a powerful breakthrough. Oh, I, I really I really trust God today. That's breakthrough. Man, I got peace today that pass. I don't even understand why I'm so peaceful today. And that's that's powerful right there. And you begin to operate in that and and just begin to believe that. I, listen, my job here is very simple, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here to encourage you. I want to get you so fired up that when you log off today, you're like, devil, I dare you to show up. I dare, show, show up. I wish you would. I wish you would. And watch what, and watch what takes place, because the joy of the Lord is your strength and joy comes from what you know. Praise God. So I declare grace, grace, grace over your life that every mountain will be reduced to a molehill. Grace, grace, grace over your circumstances. Grace, grace, grace over your situations. Grace, grace, grace over, over all that stuff. Grace, 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 grace. Amen. Somebody says, well, what you going to declare over us besides grace? Peace, peace, peace. <laughs> Pay by the ball. Peace, peace, peace over your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God to declare these things over your life. What an honor. What an honor and a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah to declare over your life over and over and over again. Praise God. Somebody just mentioned that if you're really interested in breakthrough, consistency is the key. It's not what you do one time that's going to cause something to break through. It's what you're willing to, to live as a life, you know, and that's the deal. A lot of folks don't, they disagree with stuff because they have not made in their mind, made up in their mind to live this as a life. Until it becomes a life, it won't become a reality. This ain't, this is nothing where, well, I'm going to try it out and see if it work. No, until the word of God and your agreement with that word, until it becomes life, uh, it, it'll never become a reality. And so that's why living the life of a Christian is pretty important. 
living a life trusting in God, living a life in believing God. So now you ask yourself and then judge yourself on this, you know, judge yourself on this. Uh, you know, what are you doing the majority of the time? Because whatever you're doing the most, that's that's probably the stuff you'll see in your life. I mean, if you're if you're agreeing with the negative aspects of your life, oh, woe is me. I ain't nothing. Oh, God, I'm going to probably lose every. If you agree with the negative aspects of your life and if you're doing that more than agreeing with what God says and his love and all that, well, then, you know, look at your life. I guarantee you, your life is a sum total of the words that you decide to use to agree with the, 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 the crazy stuff that's in your life. And, um, you just got to wake up one day and say, listen, I'm going to start agreeing with the word. I don't care what nobody say. Now, if they want to sit back then and, and just say what I'm doing is ignorant and stupid, that's fine. But one day they're going to see it. And I'm just going to I'm just going to keep on agreeing with God. Amen. Now, we're not talking about some magic act. I'm going to confess, confess, confess. And, and then something will, grat will, will, will something will all of a sudden appear. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about living a life that is transforming into the agreement with what God has promised. Yeah. And, and, and listen, if I'm going to transform my life into agreement with what God has promised, it's really got to start with my mouth, right? It's got to start with my words. I want to, all of my words to be transformed and, and to agree with God. That's a power switch, dude. Adding my agreement with God. What, what God says, that's what I say. Amen. I live, we all live by the faith of Jesus Christ. And uh, and so, you know, even when you think you're having a rough time believing God, or even when you think you don't have faith, well, I, well, Jesus has faith. And I live by the faith of Jesus Christ, man. It's, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, you can all, always find a reason to, disagree with something or want to have a debate and stuff like that man this is my life i ain't got time to be debating on my life i want to know how to live it and uh you know and and how to walk in it um uh, yeah i just want to say what god says and and believe what promises he made to me that's simple right let's not make it complicated well you know brother dollar you gotta understand that uh you know, yada, 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 yada. Uh, no, I just want to keep it simple. I just want to agree with God. Let's find out what he said and then get an agreement with it. That's 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 it. You want to know what how to find success and how to find the will of God for your life? It's going to start with let's find out what he said about it. And then let's go ahead and get an agreement with it. The power of agreement. That's your that's your second uh, uh, power switch. The power of agreement. Yes. Yes. Wherever two or three shall gather together in his name. Whatever they agree on. We've seen that throughout scripture. Amen. Well, we're all here today from all over the world. And I add my faith and agreement with what you're what you're agreeing with God on. I agree with you on. Amen. And, and, and let's just, just stay together with that. The power of agreement. Praise God. Now let's agree with no, Psalms 91 and let's go ahead and get uh, 91 equipped. Amen. I know I mixed it up a little bit today, but I had that fresh in my heart. So I wanted to go ahead and get it out to you. Repeat after me. I will dwell in the shelter of the most high God. I will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. God is my refuge and my fortress. You are my God in whom I trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely. God will rescue me from every trap and protect me from every disease. I'm covered and protected by his outstretched arms god's faithful promises are my armor and my protection i will not be afraid 
of the terrors of the night, nor of the arrows that fly in the day. I will not dread any disease that stalks in the darkness, nor any disaster that strikes at midday, because God is my refuge and the almighty God of my home. No evil can befall me and no plague can come near my dwelling. Listen to that. God has ordered his angels to guard, defend, and protect me in my house. Now, just for an illustration here, I'm not going to start going around and, you know, angel, do that. Angel, go and get my food ready. Angel, go, no, 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 no. God has already, already given instructions to his angels. He's already given orders to his angels. And here are the orders that God has given to angels. Angels, you go and guard, you go and defend, and you go and protect my children and their house. All right. Now, what I do is open my mouth up and I get an agreement. I say, now in the name of Jesus, angels, you have received your orders from the almighty God. And my father has ordered you to guard, defend, and to protect me in my house. So I had my agreement with those orders right now. And Jesus name. See, I'm not I'm not going around and 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 please understand what I'm saying. I'm not going around and ordering angels, you know, go get me a fish stick and angels, you know, you know like they they some kind of food delivery service. No, 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 no. And I I I I found some scriptures on that. I was just blown away with it. I was like, "Wow." Uh, the Bible also says, though, that angels hearken at the voice of the word. And I'm like, that's that's power of agreement. I'm going to give voice to what God has already established. I'm giving voice to it. I'm uh, the angels have received their orders to defend and to guard and to protect me in my house. Uh, do you agree with that? Well, Lord, I confess that the angels have been given their orders to guard and to watch over me and to protect me in my house. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My mouth. Uh, it's almost like my mouth and my words give consent. And you know, you know what I'm saying? That, Given consent, or uh, let's just stick with what we started with. It, it's adding agreement. It's adding agreement. And he goes on. Let's let's confess this next one together. God's armies, come on, say it. God's armies of heaven will keep me from falling. I will walk unharmed and kick anything that it, it, that is evil from my path. Well, by saying that, you and I are adding our agreement with what He's already given orders to the armies of heaven. All right, watch this next one. Come on. Because of God's love for me, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles. He will deliver me from all my fears. He will honor me with his presence and power. I agree. Absolutely. I agree. Praise God. And then he says, uh, he will reward me with long life. And he will show me his salvation. I agree and I receive long life. If he will reward me with long life, well, he made a promise. Well, I agree. I'm going to say it. Father, I thank you that I have long life. I agree. I add my agreement with long life. I add, you, you see what I'm saying here? This is the power of confession. Not that, you know, oh, how do I, how do I say this? Now, I'm, I'm not trying to, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not trying to figure, I'm not trying to figure out a way not to make you mad at me. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to say this. That when I open my mouth up and I release my agreement with what God has promised, boy, that's the power of confession. That's the power, that's the power of confession. The power of confession to agree i agree god i agree praise god i agree 
Everything you say about me, I'm going to say it. I agree. Praise God. I agree that I, I have long life. Well, some people believe, well, you know, hey, you ain't gonna live long, no, you ain't gonna live no longer than what you what you gonna live by by saying it. Well, you you don't understand. Yeah, I will. I'll I'll say it in agreement with what he's already said. I think somebody said already this morning. I I the 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 objective is to get my words in line with his. The objective is agreement. That's the objective. It's agreement. Uh, praise God. And you are going to, you know, it, here's what I believe. I believe as you get your words in agreement with God, that eventually the rest of you will get in agreement with God. Eventually your life will get in agreement with God. Your thinking will get in agreement with God. Uh, your faith will get in agreement with the faith of Jesus Christ. Yeah, but it's got to start somewhere. I mean, think about it. How you your heart will be in agreement with God, be one with Him. But um, how you gonna ever think you gonna get in agreement with God and never initiating that with words? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in agreement with God. So that is, I think, sometimes the missing link to understanding the power of confession. No, you know, it's not you making something happen. It as more as God has already, through his grace, made it available to you. And you're going to begin to agree with it. And then you see the power switch is turned on. I mean, as soon as you agree with it. As soon as you agree with it, you turn on a power switch. Now, the enemy is going to try to get you to get out of disagreement by throwing some kind of something contrary to what God promised and what you just agreed on. Uh, and he's going to do his best to try to try to do that. And you just got it when he comes up contrary and, you know, slaps healing on you and you say, no, I've already agreed with God that by a, a slap a sickness on you. And you say, no, I already agree with God that I'm healed. And then it gets worse. And the doctor, you say, no, no, I already agree with God. And, uh, you know, you agree with God that your bills are paid. And then some more bills show up. Ah, no, no, I don't already agree with God. I'm on I'm on his side. He'll do it. He will honor his promises. And I've already agreed with him. So you need to get on up out of here with that. Got to get on up out of here with that. I've already agreed with God. You don't understand. I know where the power switch is. And now what is the battle? To try to get you to agree with the circumstance. To try to get you to agree with that, that thought. To try to get you to agree with some demonic influence. I ain't agreeing with that. And in our society, you have seen people succumb and, and and just they just gave up and said, well, I can't help it. I just am what I am. I'm just a no good for nothing mud pot. I mean, it is what it is. Well, what'd you just do? You just got yourself talked out of agreeing with God because you didn't see it right away. And then you allowed yourself to be escorted out of agreement with God. And now you're agreeing with the circle that you stand in. That's your circumstance. Woo! I'm telling y'all, we on our way. We on our way. We're getting ready to see something happen. Your attitude with the devil ought to be just like uh, Coach Prime. I ain't hard to find. I ain't hard to find. But I'm telling you, devil, you are not going to talk me out of my agreement. I ain't doing it. And uh, and so we decide yesterday we are on our way. We are walking this good path. We are locating the power switches. And uh, yeah, I just believe that that's some amazing thing. So today we talked about the second power switch, the power of agreement. That's powerful. And the first one is if you didn't join us yesterday is. The Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue. So the tongue becomes the foundational, like you would say, the master switch. You know, you can have a master switch to open your, your uh, turn on your electricity. And then you can have individual switches that operate 
certain rooms and stuff, you see. And that's what the power of agreement is. It's the it's the switches in all the different rooms, you know. So locating the power switch. I tell you, I have never um uh, seen it from this perspective and and ever taught it. But I I my prayer is constantly when we get together online. Lord, I don't want to talk about some warmed over something. I want as much understanding of the grace of God has already done it. That's the thing. The grace of God's already done everything that needs to be done. Power switch number two. Will you agree? Will you agree that God's grace has already made it happen? that I am forgiven once and for all times. And so I agree with that. And so when something comes up, try to say, well, you know, God don't love you and God don't like ugly and God, man, come on. I, I agree that God loves me and God's forgiven me and all that. That that's that stuff. So amen. Well, we out of time again. Uh, look for all of you leaders and uh ministers and pastors um we getting close in october three through four we're going to have ministers and leaders conference and if you want to register you can just text i lead to 51555 or you can call the number 866-477-7683 or you can just simply go to creplodollarministries.org and uh get some information but taffy and i were talking one day and we are going to deal with how to overcome um, people pleasing. There are some people pleasing pastors and leaders that are trying to figure out, well, how come it ain't working in my ministry? It, that's, that's why it ain't working. You derail your life when you submit yourself to, to people pleasing. And, uh, and we got some administrative uh, sessions that are going to come up that'll be a blessing to you. And just how to how to function in this time. I am I I I have to like every other minister. Uh, I've been I've been in and this is my I'm 42 years in the ministry and 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 I'm I got my my, my eyes open. Who is who's going to be the one to to take over? Because this next generation is going to be amazing. And uh, it's it's about time for the next generation to step up and get into place. And and that's why I'm emptying myself and all of my men and my church, because this next generation is going to take us to a place we've never been before. And I I'm just I'm leading from the future and I'm leading uh, folks towards that future. But there's some amazing things that are getting ready to happen. And so, yeah, man, some some amazing things is is going on so hey i love you guys today i i get the chattering and talking almost like you here with me today like hey man you want some more eggs and you just keep talking hey man you want some toast a little jelly to go with that stuff you know i'm from the south you gotta have some jelly and uh <laughs> hey man i love y'all greatly uh tomorrow i think i'm in the middle of a series on prayer and uh but i'm gonna spend some time praying today just to see where god wants to lead me and uh yeah we're gonna have a good time tomorrow in the pulpits of world changers and then i'll get back with you online on thursday and friday amen well we love you god bless you you can have a great day today remember that now we'll see you on tomorrow and then thursday and fridays on the stream god